Hello guys, it's Mashtech here. Wouldn't it be cool if you could download new games to your RG351 wherever you are, at any time, whenever you like? Today I want to show you a method to transfer ROMs to your device without the need of a PC. All you're gonna need is just your smartphone. In this guide I will show you how to make a tethered connection between your smartphone and your RG351, download ROMs and transfer them over to your device. Basically, this method will work with any RG device that can establish a network connection either by an internal or external Wi-Fi adapter. This guide will show the method using an Android phone but should work pretty similar with an iPhone. So get your stuff ready and let's get started. So first, we want to provide a tethered connection to our phone so we can establish a Wi-Fi hotspot on our RG device and use it as an explicit connection. It's an easy process that can be done in a few tips. To show you all required steps in detail, I mirrored my old Android phone here to the screen. Don't get confused by the icon set, I played a lot around with this phone in the past to give it a look and feel of an iPhone. That was some personal project of mine. This step is not necessary if you like to connect your device within your local Wi-Fi, but we want to be really independent on the location here. So first, open your phone settings menu. This can be done by a swipe down from the top right corner of your phone. You might have to swipe the menu down a second time to fully open it up and find the settings menu wheel down here. Tap on it to open the settings. One of the first items should be the network and internet entry. Enter this menu and choose hotspot and tethering next. Here we want to choose Wi-Fi hotspot to configure and activate our personal hotspot. You can choose a hotspot name like I do here. Mesh tag phone Leave the security to WPA2 since this is a very safe standard and it's supported by your RG351. At last, set a password for the connection. For this demonstration, I choose a simple and weak password of the numbers 1 to 8. With a tap on the slider up here, we'll activate the hotspot and are done with step 1. On the next step, we want to make a connection to our RG351. If you like to know how to make use of a Wi-Fi adapter on your RG351, take a look at the video up here or take a look into the video description. To establish the connection on your RG351, press the start button to enter the main menu and choose network settings from the list. Be sure to have Wi-Fi enabled and select the Wi-Fi SSID entry. If the hotspot name of your phone doesn't appear, click on refresh and choose it from the list. Back in the network settings, select the Wi-Fi key and enter the Wi-Fi password you assigned for your hotspot. In my case, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now the RG351 can connect with your phone. To refresh the status of your connection, leave the network settings and re-enter it. As soon as you received a valid IP address in the IP address field, we're connected and good to go. Remember your device's IP address because we're gonna need it for the final step. Back on the phone, you can check if your RG351 got connected successfully. Open up your phone settings again and choose network and internet. Hotspot and tethering and there the entry Wi-Fi hotspot. Expand the advanced entry down here to find the connected users. With a tap on it you will see the devices that are currently connected to your phone's personal hotspot. As you can see the RG351P is successfully connected. Let's do the final step and download an app for the file transfer. I've tested several apps and found EndFTP the most intuitive and most simple to use. So open up the Play Store and search for ANDFTP. FTP. 
The symbol of the app looks like two connected monitors. Tap on install and wait for the Play Store to install the app to your phone. As soon as the installation is complete, we can open and FTP and configure it to transfer files between our phone and the RG351. On the first start, and FTP will ask for access to the file system on your phone. Confirm the dialog with allow so that you can browse your phone's file system. Close the tip of the day dialog and it will take you to the main window. To configure a new connection, you need to tap on the plus symbol on the top bar. Here we can now enter the data to remotely access the file system of our RG351. First, we need to enter the host name, which is the IP address of our RG device. In my case, it was 192.168.43.200. As protocol type, I recommend using SCP for secure copy. Leave the port field free, so it will automatically use the default of 22. For the username, you need to enter root. The associated password is emu-alec. At last, check the enable for resume box and use the next button on the keyboard to jump through the remaining fields. As the keyboard disappears, tap on the save button to save the settings and give the connection a speaking name. I choose RG351 as the name for this connection. Finally, we have our connection ready. With a tap on the folder symbol, we will connect to the RG351 and can now transfer files between our phone and our RG device. Now let's download a game ROM to our phone and transfer it over to the RG351. I perform this step only for demonstration purpose. Remember, downloading ROMs is illegal as long as you don't own the game yourself. So open Google on your phone's browser and search for ROMs download. The first hit takes us to www.romsgames.net where you can download ROMs for various systems. Let's download a NES ROM, so tap on Nintendo in the list. I choose Super Mario Bros. 3 here, since I really own this game for my NES. Tap on the icon and choose Save Game on the next screen. It takes a few seconds for the download to start. Choose download when you request it to save the file and wait for the download to complete. After the file was downloaded, you will find it in the download folder of your phone. To check it, open end FTP and tap on the phone symbol up here to change the view to your phone's file system. There you'll find the download folder. Tap on it to enter the folder and, as you can see, it contains our newly downloaded ROM plus a copy since I already downloaded this game before for test purpose. To copy the file over, we need to switch the view to our RG351 by a tap on the cloud symbol. Here we need to navigate to the destination folder. Since this is a NES game, we enter the folder ROMs and choose the NES folder next. If you like to copy the ROM file of a different system, you need to choose the associated system folder here. For this example, we're gonna choose the NES folder. Now we can switch back to the phone and select the file we want to transfer over. In this case, it's gonna be the Super Mario Bros. 3.zip. Select the file to mark it and tap on the upload symbol to transfer it to the folder on your RG351 we recently selected. Click on OK to transfer the file over and confirm the upload with a tap on OK. We can now switch over to our RG351 again and check if the file was transferred successfully. And there it is. 
As a final test, switch over to the IG351 and let's play our newly downloaded game. To make the game show up in the games list, you need to enter the main menu, choose game settings and click on the update games list entry and confirm the update. After Emuelec restarted, you can now navigate over to the Nintendo section and scroll all the way down to the Super Mario Bros. 3 entry. And as you can see, the game now appears in the list where you can start it and play some. From now on, you can simply activate your personal hotspot on the phone, start your RG351 and the connection should be established automatically. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not just an option for those of you guys that don't own a PC, but also for those who like to have the freedom to download and play a game whenever it comes to your mind. In the park, on the train, in the tube, at a friend's house, in the waiting room, wherever you like. If you found this video helpful, let me know with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, have a great day and see you in my next video. Bye!